this exact day one year ago was my birthday. I know that because tomorrow's my birthday. And I was walking down this exact same track. And I was saying one of the most difficult things about being divorced is waking up on your birthday and Christmas is like that and you've not got your kids with you. Um, because you're so used to having it, you know, sort of 20 odd years of marriage or whatever. And you're so used to having your kids with you on your birthday. But anyway, it's my birthday tomorrow. I'm going to have them there in the morning. But I can also remember it was my birthday this time last year because Nottingham Forest beat Liverpool 1-0 at the city ground. We've got Luton tomorrow. But um, yeah, back to England now. You can see I'm down this fucking muddy old track. The sun's gone. I look like a fucking brown-faced, fake suntan-wearing Muppet walking down this track in my T-shirt. Right, I've tried to record this bastard second part of this video three times now. I reckon Apple are trying to tell me I need a new phone because it's a couple of years old. And every time I press stop, it's not recorded anything. Ah, he got that. Anyway, as I was ranting on and on, I was talking about it being a year ago. And I've had a few messages recently, probably about 10 or 11 over the last couple of days, of people that have said, not people that I've spoken to before, you've really inspired me to start creating content. I can't believe what you've said. It's so true. I've only started posting a couple of times a day, not the four to six times that you've been recommending. And guess what? My channel's growing. I've got 10,000 followers. I've had a video that's got 300,000 views or whatever it might be. I'm so grateful for you for motivating me and inspiring me to do it. And that's all I've done is I've just said to you what a lot of people aren't saying. Pick your phone up. Tell us what you're doing. Tell us what shit you're watching on Netflix because I'm all for a good recommendation on Netflix. And don't worry about being perfect. Like I say, I've said this thing that I'm saying to you now about three times today this morning while I'm walking the dog. And do you know what? It's not recorded. So I've had to do it again. So nobody's perfect. And while we're on the subject of being perfect, you need to follow the bloke I've tagged in this called the TikTok Ranter. His name's Sean. A couple of reasons why. He makes me laugh. He was making a video yesterday. He talks about... His channel's mainly talking about being a single dad and how, you know, he loves his kids and he should be supporting his kids financially and all of these things. And he gets into some right arguments with people that um, don't pay child support or, you know, stuff like that. He's decent. But he was making a video yesterday. I think he was sat in his, his staff room at work. He'd got his high vis on. And he'd placed his phone down in front of him. And I kid you not, the phone fell over about three times. But he didn't stop. He didn't edit it out. He picked it up, went, for fuck's sake, this phone, blah, 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 a couple of times, and then carried on. And you know what? I cannot, for the life of me, tell you what his video is about. But what I can remember is that the human part, the humorous part. So let that be a lesson to you. You don't have to be perfect. People aren't looking for perfect on here. We've had a decade of perfectness on Instagram, of perfect lives on Facebook and people showing us how successful they are. We're fucking sick of that bullshit because we now know that that's not really true. It's a filter. It's a hired car. It's a fake Gucci bag they got from the lucky lucky man in Tenerife or whatever it might be. And they're all doing that to make themselves feel better and to make everyone else feel shit. So, let's see your mistakes. Let's hear about your mistakes. Have you battled depression? Let's hear about it. Have you battled alcoholism? Let's hear about it. If you watch something good on Netflix, definitely let's hear about it because I can find fuck all to watch on there when I sit down to watch something. But more importantly, just start doing it. If somebody had told me a year ago when I was walking down that track, when Nottingham Forest beat Liverpool, 1-0. If somebody said to me, look, this time next year you're going to be walking down this track, you'll have just got off of a holiday from ten, uh, Turkey with your kids, TikTok will be paying you for views, you'll be... The amount of stuff I've been asked to try out recently is ridiculous. Um, you know, a lot of it's no good for me. Some company wanted to know if I wanted some fucking makeup or something, maybe I need it. But I'd have said, you're lying, you're talking crap. This can happen for anybody. Position yourself well. Anyway, I'm back home now so I can shut the fuck up.